G'day guys, Kleidu here and today we are going to be building a flower shop for my let's play called Smitten. So if you guys don't know about this series, definitely go check it out. I will leave a link or an annotation somewhere around here. But yeah, it's basically a story based let's play that I have only just started. We're only up to episode one, so you do have time to catch up. Um, part two should be coming out later on in the week and yeah, I'm super excited for this series. Basically, this flower shop is my first character's, um, it's her first, it's her occupation. So, um, she's going to be a florist and also own a little bit of a nursery up on the rooftop here. I did build the skeleton on camera in the first part of this ser series and... Um, yeah, that's why it's like kind of already built out. I also had to cut out some of the, some of the footage of creating this because it was just way too much footage and I was in a lot of calls and talking to a lot of people while I was building this and that kind of made it so sometimes I slowed down or sometimes I was like doing stuff that I didn't need to do and just like pondering over things that was, it was taking way too long to do the simplest things than it had to be so that is the only reason why this video is still kind of long for a small build but it's also the reason why it's cut up a lot so I've been using these half walls to work with this rooftop and this way people won't fall off it of course and um, I, I don't know, it looks really nice in the end. I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you guys think of this experimentation I have with um, the different heights in the walls. I think it looks really neat in the end when I kind of make it merge with the rest of the building with that really nice brick color. I really like it. And I wanted to go with a bit of an orange and green theme with this build because the main character in Smitten, Jean Cantaloupe, she is, her colors, her color of her character is mainly orange and green. So this just suits her. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but this series is very cartoony, bright. So that is why this build is kind of going to have a theme to it also that matches the story. So up here I'm putting all of these pot plants up and I think they look too cute. They kind of set the mode that it is a a place where there are flowers and life that is growing. And I put one of these things in. How cool are they? How cool is those things when they are enlarged? I think they look pretty cool. I think they're called I think they're called awnings. I'm not sure. I think they're called awnings. By the way, the reason why I am a little bit tired and my commentary isn't as good as usual is because I have been talking a lot today. I've been talking to a lot of people on Skype um, while doing building and I thought that I would be resting my voice while doing that, but apparently not. And I am still a little bit sick. So talking on Skype all day has not really done anything good to my poor voice. I keep getting this bit of a sickness where my voice and my throat hurt. So um, that is why I can't really talk as well as I usually do. Now we are putting in some windows. I do change them up. I did like those ones, but I didn't like them on this side of the house. So I put in these cool, like fully length, like wall length windows. I don't know what they're called, but <laughs> they're from like the, they touch the ceiling and touch the floor. I really like it. I think they are from Spa Day. I love that game pack. That is like one of my favorite game packs, to be honest. Um, now I am just kind of decorating the top here. So a bit later on, I do cut out some parts um, that I didn't realize I had cut out, to be honest. But you'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm putting in some gardens where um, Jean can grow her flowers because... Well, most florists actually get their flowers flown in, but I thought, or like ordered in, but I thought it would be really sweet and kind of cute if we got her to have 
some gardens of her own and that way she can build up her gardening skill as we don't have a florist skill yet in The Sims 4. Now I am just experimenting with putting trees in these pots and I really like the idea of having a tree on the roof. Like how cool would that be if you, that would be the coolest nursery ever actually. If you got to like go up onto the roof and just see like a garden. How neat would that be? I would love that. I would love that to be a restaurant, to be honest. I would love to eat there. But anyways, we have the um, tree in the middle there. A little, little bit later on, I have some difficulty with rooms. That is like my weakness in The Sims 4 when it comes to building. Um, especially if I'm trying to put down either flooring on a diagonal or I'm trying to put like a certain wall in, I don't know, or like a wall cover. So many times I, I have difficulties with rooms glitching and just not fitting right. And does anyone else feel me? Like, I don't know, I always have this same issue where um, the rooms just mess up and I can't, I can't do what I want to do. Anyways, we are putting a whole bunch of green pot plants up here because I want it to be very green and lush and I know inviting that's what nurseries are well the ones that I like to go to anyway um downstairs I'm just putting down things that I want to remember for later on um I'm just putting some nicks and knacks around this huge tree it's like in this half barrel that's, oh my goodness, I don't even want to imagine how huge that barrel would have had to be to cut it in quarter or whatever like that. Oh man. So I've been putting in these counters, which kind of look industrial and gardeny in a sense. I like them. I like them a lot. I know there are some pans on the side of them, but you don't really notice them. And I think it looks really neat when you kind of not have all of the counters exactly the same and you do utilize those different aspects you know how like I, I like that we have that in The Sims 4 I'm not sure if we had that in The Sims 3 I think we did but I just forgot apparently but okay so now we are just putting some little pot plants and things on the counters obviously this is going to be a shop or a business so um, a lot of this stuff is going to be for sale and people will be wandering up here and getting it. I'm not sure about the pot plants around the tree. They may not be able to like access it. The customers might, might not be able to actually look at it. Sometimes, I don't know, when you use move objects, things get a little bit crazy and customers don't really like it when it's like that even though it's still in front of them they can't like the AI can't figure out what's happening so poor sims poor sims I do like these little pot plants but I I decided to get rid of them a little bit later on I put something else there that nurseries have you guys will find out very soon um there was a cut just there and now I am putting in the thing that you guys that I was just talking about so um, whenever you go to a nursery, a lot of you probably know that there are like big urns that you can put in your garden and like decorations and stuff that have nothing to do with plants. They're just like sculptures and things. So, um, oh, I like those hoses too. They're like a really nice touch. I'm so glad we have that. You know what? If EA gave us anything, like another stuff pack, could they please, could you guys please give us a garden one? I would love that. Like, I love all things garden. <gasps> Gardening. Oh, give me all the florist things. Oh, my goodness. If we could. Oh, that's one thing that we didn't get in, get to work. Um, Kind of missing from Open for Business, where you could actually make your own flower bouquets. And, oh, that was so much fun. Fun. I'm getting so excited thinking about it. I want to install The Sims 2 just to play that again. Oh man, I remember making my first like flower shop when I was playing The Sims Sims 2 open for business. So good. So good. The memories. The memories. 
So I still have those two pot plants on the side there, but and in the end, I do move these sculptures and things where they are. I put a cute little table here. I really like this table. It kind of mixes it up instead of putting just normal counters that I have over here. And I like, I like these stones, but I have a feeling I don't put them on the table in the end. So here are some of the sculptures that I'll be using. Um, I love that I've put little cute gnomes everywhere. It just makes it more lively and adorable. I might actually, I forgot to put some gnomes downstairs. I might do that afterwards. Oh man. So I put, I decided to put in a fountain because like, come on now. It's, it's one of the biggest um, one of the biggest sculpture thingies. So, I don't know. And what is a nursery without a fountain? Like, they always sell fountains for you to put in your garden. And I, I don't know. It looks kind of, it kind of looks cool. I'm not sure if you guys understand. I'm not sure if it's like that in other countries, but they usually have all of the sculptures in one little section against the wall at nurseries here. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing it like that. That's why they're all like clumped up in a little area over there, the sculptures. I know it looks a little bit weird, but trust me, that's, that's what they do. Well, here they do that anyway. I'm not sure about over in other countries. Um, again, I'm just kind of like trying to put down some paintings and things for me to remember when I decorate down here. Oh man, it's so empty down here. I'm excited for you guys to see what it ends up looking like. I do have to cheat a little bit to finish this build. I know I am so bad. I am so bad. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I actually think I'm going to go and delete a whole bunch of the stuff when before I do my next episode for Smitten because like I just when I'm doing a speed build I really feel like I need to fill it up and make it look perfect so just like in my up house rainbow house build I will take away some of the objects and only and I'll try and like look back at this at the speed build video for a reference when I can afford to buy all of that stuff, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if I just m m talked in gibberish or whatever, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to delete a whole bunch of this stuff and just, this video will be referenced. This is how I want the building to look like eventually. So, um, it does look a little bit empty. One of the rooms does look a bit empty, just because I was keeping in mind that I didn't want to be cheating a lot. I wanted this series to be fun and kind of not from scratch, scratch, but I still wanted to work for it. Um, here we are trying to imitate the florist bench that was in The Sims 2. That is what I was thinking of. I'm not sure if it was in The Sims 3. It's been so long since I've played either of them. I cannot remember. But basically it was just like a table that had that little shelf at the top and a whole bunch of flowers in it and like all of those like gardening floristy stuff around it. I really, I think it looks so cute behind there. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks nice. It does remind me of a florist bench. Um, this room, this big empty room here was the hard part to decorate because I didn't really know what to do. Oh man, it changes quite a lot and you are going to see it change quite a lot. I put in these nice curtains and there is a room there now. I think I failed to mention that, but that room ends up being split up into two, which is a little kitchen and a little bathroom because I found that in my get to work series, I didn't like that my sim kept getting hungry and she would have to go to the park to get her food from a barbecue. I really didn't like that. It was kind of a hassle. So I wanted to add in a small little kitchen and most... Um, most occupations do have that in their building anyway. So, yeah. Oh man, look how huge this room is, guys. I have no idea how I make it even look less emptier than that. Oh man, it's too big. I feel like that is my Achilles heel when it comes to building. I always make the rooms way too big. 
oh man, and it's already too late. I can't go back because all of the all of the stuff on the top level on the ceiling is already put down. I kind of just like dug my own grave there. Oh dear, that was so morbid. Um, here I am trying this like table and green. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. It looks dreadful, I know, but I had this idea of being able to see the sea of green through the window, but it just was not really working. So I end up totally changing it a bit later on. And I think you guys are going to really like something that I find very soon. I do like that table, but I don't feel like they suit style. It's not rustic like this guy. I love this shelf. It is so industrial and look, it comes in an awesome, like, I don't know what that is. It's like khaki green. So nice. And I use a couple of these to display flowers on. I get rid of that wall of like that hedge. Like, why do I need a hedge indoors anyway? And um, yeah, I have so many pot plants there. No wonder I was running out of money. I was wasting my, <laughs> wasting so much on pot plants, but uh, I just really wanted it to look really green and lush inside just as much as it does up on the top floor. So uh, oh well, it does, we do fix it a little bit later on. Um, here I am just putting in some things onto the shelf so we can sell these. I kind of wanted to put in some other green things to make it just look more lush in there and rainforesty. I love pot plants, guys. They're like one of my favorite things ever. Um, also, this is nothing to do. You guys probably just heard my chair squeak. Um, something that has nothing to do with this build, but I am considering buying spooky stuff, I think it was called, and maybe doing a Halloween themed house or build. I'm not sure what I would make yet. Maybe a castle or something. Maybe I can make like Frankenstein's castle or something really, really spooky and different. Um, I saw something really cool in the gallery the other day that was Halloween themed. It was a Halloween like theme park. It was so cool. I can't remember who made it, but Oh man, it was so cool, so amazing. They even had an enlarged um, cow plant. So cool. I just, I cannot believe. I cannot believe somebody like, oh my goodness. So much talent on the gallery, guys. Like not just on YouTube. There are so many talented people on the gallery. It's crazy amazing. I love this community. So, oh, look how adorable this cute little like, bench over here is with all of those colorful flowers. I'm loving it. Yay. Love all of the colors. Um, I, because I haven't really been building in so long, it took me a while to remember how to make items go up and down again. And then I was like, oh, it's nine and zero when you're holding down control. Right. So now I'm able to do that again. I'm not sure if I will be able to sell all of those objects. Hopefully, I have a really bad feeling that I won't be able to, but you know, this is for the speed build. In the actual um, series, we will move around things so then they actually work. And yeah, I kind of, this is like for the aesthetics, for the screenshots, for the video, just to, yeah, just to be beautiful, to be beautiful. Um, I was going to keep those mirrors there. I think I get rid of them a little bit later on, but I know I really love the idea of having rustic old mirrors against like brick walls or having them outdoors. I was going to have mirrors up on the top level, but I decided not to because the walls weren't big enough. And oh man, the cute little bench over there is so adorable. Um, I put some boxes there because I don't know, it's a florist and they have lots of supplies and they need to keep them somewhere. And I did forget to put in like a supply room. So the supplies are just lying around, you know, when, when we get a bigger place, this place is already big enough. Wait up, wait up. Um, when we maybe move or renovate, we will, I guess, make a supplies room. But look how nice these 
um, this bins look. I was really surprised. I had totally forgotten about these. They're like barrel bins. They look really neat. Um, so I was trying to figure out what to do with those mirrors. Um, oh, it just cut. So we didn't figure out what happened to them yet. I do put a table over there. Okay, so it's all changed now. I do have, I put a door there, like a exit door. And I put a, um, another one of those. I think I either pushed that across or I made a new one. Oh no, I put another one of these shelves next to the window. When I turn around, you're going to see it. Um, but I have those cute little cube chairs there. It's sort of like a sitting kid area. I wanted to put toys and stuff around. I might do that later on. I do have some books there, but maybe some toys would be better. Like while the parents are shopping for their either like plants up on the roof or they're just having a look around at flowers. The kids could be down just reading books or playing with toys. So that's why I have that cute little, um, cute little tree there. I tried making it huge. Like it kind of looks cute, but it's cutting into that window and I really like that window there. So I just had to keep it little and yeah. Oh man. Oh man, so just some little touches. I put a corkboard little community thing there. I think it kind of just adds to the whole feel of the place. Here you can see my tables that I've put in there. I put some romantic like roses that are very sweetheart themed. I thought that was something Jean definitely would create. She is definitely a sweetheart. She does have the soulmate aspiration. So I think roses would be her specialty. I decided to, um, or actually I think I turned those hearts back to like a brown. I was definitely, I definitely was thinking about keeping them rainbow because this series is meant to be rainbow colored, but I thought it didn't really suit Jean. It, like, I don't know, she lives in a rainbow house. Okay, she doesn't need to have rainbow everything. <laughs> um, this is the room that we kind of split in half. I put in the toilet and that against this wall. And then I kind of just like split it straight down there. You're going to see any second now. Any second. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, Yeah, it just, I can't believe how much time I actually spent just redoing, like fixing up this build that I had already started the skeleton on. Basically, it took like two, th two thirty minutes. I don't know why I said it like that. Two hours and thirty minutes, which is kind of ridiculous. But I guess compared to my other builds, where they're usually like six to ten hours to do one build. Oh man, I, I guess I did okay. This is like a personal best, guys. This is a personal best. I'm getting better, okay? Um, now we're going to be putting a cute little um, kitchen. And um, I was going to go with the lime because I wanted to continue with that theme, but I ended up just going with brown because I really liked those cupboards and I just wanted it to match so bad. Um, we just put in a fridge and a microwave, and I think I put in a little couch in the corner against the wall there. So if anyone wants to have a little nap, they can. If Jean wants to have a nap um, after a long day of cutting, um, of pruning bushes, watering plants, and no putting together bouquets of, I don't even know if I'm saying that word correctly, <laughs> putting together um, bunches of flowers, she can go have a sleep over there. Um, so this is all coming together now. I have some different mats on the ground. Um, we are going to be doing the front garden now. I love doing gardens, but it's also sort of daunting because sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't know. I ended up using these flowers that I hardly ever use. Like, I cannot recall any build that I've used these flowers before. Um, just because I don't like this triangle side of them, but I tried to kind of like overlay them to look rounded, and I think it worked out in the end. So, obviously, I am using the move objects cheat to be 
to be able to do this and I'm just overlaying all of these bushes with the flowers. I love how I have that little cart outside. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a little cart. It's like, this is where the flowers are. You should come in here and get your flowers <laughs> or your pot plants. Um, so now we have, I think I wanted to delete something because I didn't want to cheat anymore and I just wanted that last bush and... I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just like wasting my money. Oh my goodness. I am so bad, guys. Someone needs to pinch me. I, oh man. Okay, we are up to the screenshot. So this is what it looks like at nighttime on the rooftop. This is what it looks like in the morning at the cashier register. Um, here are the window things. <laughs> oh my goodness, that went by really fast. But yeah, you guys have already seen it all. Um, oh my goodness, that looks so pretty. I'm so happy with this build. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. And I'm excited to show you guys live in game in the next episode of Smitten. I'll see you there, guys. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.